Hi, good morning, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year in advance. Um, this is the Proverbs series with OA and our last episode for the year 2022. It's been a journey so far, and I'm very glad that I brought this series to us. I have learned personally myself, you know, I've learned a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the scriptures of Proverbs, on the book of Proverbs. And I believe that, you know, God used this series to bless me and to everyone who have followed right from when it started. So today we're going to be in our episode 16, our last episode for 2022. And it's coming from Proverbs 19, verse 11, which says that a person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. A person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. You know, this is a very explanatory um, scripture. And it says that when you have wisdom, you have patience. There are some things that we want to do, but wisdom will caution us. Insights will keep us grounded from doing those things. Wisdom will give us the grace to make the right choices in order to prevent bad consequences. These are the profitability that we derive from wisdom. And this is why God wants us to live a life full of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. It is foolishness not, not to, you know, walk on the path of wisdom. It exposes you to a lot of negativity when you don't dwell in wisdom. And, you know, there are some decisions that our flesh would push us to make. But when you walk in the place of wisdom, you would have patience and you would be prudent in making those decisions. And, you know, there are some decisions that we will make that might put us in trouble but when you have wisdom, it guides you and it sets you on the right path. And the second stanza of that verse says that it is to one glory to overlook an offense. There are some things that people do to us that you might be, your flesh might be pushing you to react and to just let them know that you are not a pushover. You are not somebody that some people can ride rough shoulder. There are times to be silent. There are seasons that there are times that you need to overlook an offense because at the end of the day, it will be to your glory. You know, when you overlook an offense where everybody's expecting you to react, it's kind of elevates you it kind of make you be a leader that people can trust because it it's it's it, it uh depicts you that you have self-control you have control over your feelings and your you know emotions and this is why it is very key that we must walk on the path of wisdom it says that it is to one's glory to overlook an offense i'm not saying that you know when we are not we shouldn't set boundaries or, or, or let people know that there are some things that we will not accept or there are some things that we will not take but this scripture is telling us that it is to one's glory to overlook an offense you know there are seasons that you have to overlook some things we don't have to react to <coughs> excuse me we don't always have to react to what people do to us because it waters you down it whittles down your power this is what you need to understand as a person who is working in the place of wisdom when you're quick to react to things that people do to you, when people know that they can they can push you, they can press your buttons, and you are quick and swift to react, then it, it depicts you and positions you as someone who is foolish. And it doesn't make you a leader that people can trust because your buttons can be easily pressed. So the book of Proverbs is telling us that it is to one's glory to overlook an offense. You know, when everybody's waiting, oh, she's going to react. We know who she is. We know who he is. She's going to react to this thing. Then you just surprise them by just overlooking that kind of offense. What do you think that does? It makes people to look at you in a different manner, like, oh, this person is someone that is, uh, you know, this person is, they, they've, they've surprised me with this, their reaction, and you earn their respect. That is what it does to you when you overlook an offense. It says that it is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Can you say that the book of Proverbs, you know, one of the things that may, I've studied the book of Proverbs in the past, and I've, I always learn new things. And it inspires me and it's, you know, helps me to walk on the path of wisdom. And this is why I brought this series to us. Can you just see that we can derive our daily living from the book of Proverbs? It's full of the words of the Lord. And it is, you know, it's like a moral guidance to help us live this life beautifully without falling into pits that has been set for us. So once again, I will repeat the scripture. It says that a person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. In the year 2023, make sure that. You operate with this, this particular verse in the book of Proverbs 19. A person's wisdom yields patience. Search for wisdom, you know, look for insights. Study the, the book of Proverbs. Derive a lot of, you know, things that can guide your, you know, build your core values, that can, can give you moral ethics. And, you know, imbibe this thing in your personal values and in your culture, the way you deal with people. And you realize that you will, you would have less and less of problems with humans. So a person's wisdom, you use patience. When you have wisdom, you have patience. You are prudent. You don't react anyhow. 
People cannot predict you because you're operating from the place of wisdom. It means that the Holy Spirit is the one that guides your actions and your reactions. So you are unpredictable. And when you are unpredictable, you have power, you know, to navigate the terrain of life in general. And it seems like it's to one's glory to overlook an offense. So don't always react to everything. Don't let people predict you. Don't let people set traps for you because they know that you will fall into those, you know, those traps. Because you are predictable and you can never overlook an offense. Overlook an offense, most especially if you are a leader. I personally believe that each and every one of us are leaders. We are leading in each, uh, you know, we are leading in different capacities. So as a person, make sure that you have, you know, overlook some offenses. Overlook offenses, you know, just separate your emotions. It doesn't take anything away from you and it doesn't reduce your pride. Build yourself. Let yourself control. Be solid so that people cannot just, you know, throw different kinds of things. I hope you have been blessed by this series. Um, we're going to be back in 2023. I don't know when exactly, but definitely it might not be in January. So you can, you know, feed on the past series and just, you know, study the books of Pro the book of Proverbs yourself. You're going to gain, gain a lot of wisdom, knowledge and understanding in it. In this life, we need knowledge and understanding to navigate appropriately and to navigate peacefully. So you can, you know, you can decide to Partner with some friends and just decide that you're going to study the book of Proverbs for a particular period of time. And you would realize that life will be more beautiful and you're going to live in a prudent manner. And you're going to keep yourself safe from many of the dishes that we fall into as a result of the fact that we lack insight and wisdom. I wish you a beautiful the remaining days of this year shall be full of beauty, blessings and, you know, a lot of things will fall into place for you. God will guide you and under your footstep and the year 2023 will be full of fantastic upliftment and promotion, progress on all sides, full of peace, love, and joy in the name of Jesus. My name is Uluwatos and Lachimokia Till I see you again next year, take good care of yourself. Bye.